Hello community, player IGN here. Originally, I was going to work on mimicking Valorant's fog of war system. Now, if you don't know what that is, try to imagine a shroud, like a dark shroud, fog, that removes enemy players from your computer where you shouldn't see them anyways, such as behind walls. Now, basically, it's a solution to a problem where your computer knows where the enemy is at all times, but you, the player, can't see them because there is art, 3D models, and textures blocking your sight. Now, this sounds redundant since you can't see them anyways, but in a lot of FPS games, your PC, um, which is also called the client, actually knows where everyone is at all times. But, you know, for the average player, you can't see them because there's stuff blocking your, blocking your camera view. And so how wall hacks work is that they either make the walls see-through, or they slap a custom-made UI on top of the player, right? Uh, imagine someone ping a player through walls at all times. That's going to be annoying as hell, right? That's basically how wall hacks work uh, sometimes. Now, Fog of War is a feature that is standard in every strategy game, top-down strategy game like uh, League of Legends. It's also a reason why cheating in that game is kept to a minimum because the anti-cheat isn't a software that you download locally on your computer, but it's actually handled by the... Um, the game's servers, which is usually some kind of physical box in some place, let's say Oregon, right? Oregon servers are pretty common. Now, I didn't find success with farming a fog of war system, but I do think it's relevant to bring it up since uh, when I was bug fixing and working on this, I realized I screwed up some of my anti cheat setup for gunplay. So, I think this is actually a good opportunity to talk about that. Now, if you remember in Early Access PUBG, um, cheaters were able to teleport shots to heads, right? They were able to insta headshots, change variables like fire rates to shoot faster, and change move speed to move faster or run faster. The reason for that is something called trusting the client. Now, in cybersecurity, this is one of the first things you learn, which is to never trust the client, never to trust the user, never to trust the player. And it's because of this, this is why we get into servers and tick rates. Basically, when somebody says this game has 30 tick rate, 60 tick rate, 120 tick rate servers, they're basically referring to how often per second a server is going to go through a checklist to make sure that nothing is out of ordinary, right? Basically, a checklist to see if this is wrong, that is right, this is off. Now, in this case, for PUBG Early Access, I'd reckon there was not enough list checking in some of these important stuff, right? In short, the game was trusting the clients a little too much in some areas. And so a solution to... Um, anti cheat for shooting without having to heavily rely on locally downloaded software is we do some checks. Now we can have the servers shoot their own version of the line, right? Uh, their own version of the bullet shot, their own version of the shots, which will always use the correct locations and angles, then compare it to with what the player sees or what the player has to see if both shots are close enough, right? To see if the player shots, to see if the server shots are close enough. If it is, then we'll say, hey, you pass. If it's not, then we know they are either cheating or heavily lagging. Now, you may be asking, why would I want to check on every single shot? Uh, why not just have the server do the shooting instead? Like, why am I checking every shot, right? Well, the answer to that is the same reason why games like Hearthstone and League of Legends has a lot of cheaters. But FPS games are right with them, right? Left and right. Um, it's because FPS games demand a lot of speed, reaction, and 3D precision, more so than these other genres. If you have to ask the server for permission for every little thing you do, it means you will always see yourself lag, right? Whatever you do, you would need to ask the servers for permissions first. So if you ever lagged in a MOBA or some kind of strategy game, right? Uh, you would see yourself moving really, really slow or really unresponsive. Uh, this would feel literally unplayable in a first person shooter, which is why it's pretty standard for every shooter game to use something called a client side prediction. Basically, the game will let you go ahead and move on your own, right? You don't need a permission to move on your own, but the server will correct your position or correct your movements later down the line. So if you ever lagged in a shooter game, you will actually see yourself teleporting back and forth. This is because your character's position is being corrected. And so when it comes to speed, position, and movements, we can use client-side prediction, which is what we have, which is what I have uh, programmed right now. Now, there are a couple of things I want to point out about the gunplay. Now, first of all, recoil is most comparable to the Glock or Mark 14 in a PUBG. And I may want to tone it down a bit, but I'm also thinking that maybe I should keep it because it could be like a really core community thing, right? Like a niche community thing. 
who knows. Now the time to kill is comparable to Valorant, uh, this is because currently I have assault rifles needing one headshot and one body shot to kill a player, whereas in PUBG you will need one headshot and two body shots to kill a player. There's vertical recoil, sideways recoil, and on damage calculation we use base damage multiplied by damage range, multiplied by body parts, multiplied by uh, wall multiplier if you hit any walls, because there's shoot through walls in this game, right? Um, other features are, let me go down this list, the gun will automatically reload if you empty your last shot, uh, hip firing is less accurate, if you do move even while ADS while moving, it will be like hip firing. Um, the recoil of the weapon also changes based on where you move, so if you move left, the recoil will shift left further, if you move right, the recoil will, will shift right further. Now currently, if you move backwards, the recoil will actually shift downwards, not upwards. This might sound annoying, but, you know, it probably won't happen all that often. I mean, who is actually moving backwards while they're shooting ADS? But comment down below if you think I should remove it or, you know, keep it. Uh, recoil increases depending on how much ammo you have on your gun. So if you have less ammo, the recoil is actually higher. Uh, this, this is because intuitively, uh, there's more bullets means more weights, right? So more ammo, lower recoil, less ammo, higher recoil. Um, I think that's everything. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everything. So just let me know if you want some, if you got some good ideas, but I'm pretty sure this is it. I'm pretty sure this is most of my gunplay. Um, I don't have resetting um recoil. Basically, when you shoot in PUBG, uh, the gun will fall back down slightly. Um, I don't have that. The reason for that is because I asked um some members in the Discord about it. Basically, I send DMs to random people. And um, one person suggested that I keep it this way. I keep it where there's no resetting of the crosshair because this is what um original Counter-Strike was like. And uh, they liked it better. And plus, it also like mimics the behavior where you have to pull your gun back down to its correct position. It's not automatic and the game doesn't does that for you. So that could be like an emergent thing. Um... Yeah, I think that's all.